This free bed bug training video is brought to you by Able Pest Control, experts in bed bug prevention and extermination. Bed bugs, they feed on our blood, infesting our businesses, our homes, our beds. They cause serious bites and rashes, and many even trigger allergic and asthmatic reactions. 100 years ago, one out of every three houses was infested. By the 1950s, Bed bugs were all but eliminated in North America. But now, bed bug infestations are increasing at an alarming rate year after year. Facility management is under increasing pressure to prevent and eliminate bed bugs. In the U.S. today, residents are suing for $300,000 for bed bug bites and winning. Why are they back? Why can't they just be exterminated? There are several reasons. 1. Older, highly effective pesticides such as DDT helped eliminate bed bugs years ago but are now restricted due to their health and environmental impacts. 2. Many of today's bed bugs have become resistant to our remaining control products and are highly mobile. 3. Increased international travel has helped bed bugs spread through people, their luggage, their clothes, and their furniture. 4. Lack of public awareness and training lets bed bugs spread throughout facilities before action can be taken. Prevention and prompt identification are the most important steps to keeping your facility bed bug free and protecting your company from bed bug related lawsuits. Today, you will learn your part in keeping your facility bed bug free through constant observation, inspection, identification, notification, and control. Chapter 2 Identification and Detection of Bed Bugs Bed bugs are wingless insects about 4 to 5 millimeters long. They're brown or red brown in color and are fast runners. Female bed bugs can lay up to 5 eggs per day, taking only 5 weeks for hatch nymphs to grow to maturity. Small bed bug problems will grow out of control very quickly. A bed bug's mouth is especially adapted to pierce skin and suck blood. Bed bugs respond to the warmth and carbon dioxide of humans, their favorite meal. Most blood feeding occurs at night and they generally seek shelter during the day and become inactive while digesting the blood meal. A bed bug can survive up to one year without a blood meal. Bed bugs are most often found on bed frame joints, within mattress seams, on the back of headboards, etc. Often a visual inspection of these areas will be enough to find bed bugs. They can also hide in electronics, behind walls, in luggage, or even a pant leg. This makes it very difficult to exterminate 100% of them. Bed bug infestations can often be identified by blood spotted sheets. While they prefer feeding on your exposed face and neck, they'll often feed under the sheets leaving small blood spots. These are important signs not to go unnoticed. While changing sheets, inspect them for blood marks. An infested room might have a sweet, musty scent to it. If you notice an unusual smell, inspect the mattress and headboard area. Look at the sheets for blood spots. Noticing or getting complaints of bed bug bites is another sign you can identify if you know what to look for. Victims are often not aware they are being bitten. Bed bugs inject anesthetics and anticoagulants with one injected tube and blood is extracted from a second tube. Bites may appear individually or as clusters. They can feed on any exposed skin such as arms, legs, face and neck. The bites may take days to appear after the victim has been bitten. Identification and Detection of Bed Bugs Chapter Review Bed bugs are red to red-brown in color and about 4 or 5 millimeters in size. Do regular visual inspections. Look for blood-spotted sheets. Listen for complaints. Chapter 3. Bed Bug Prevention Prevent infestations by having a bed bug program where everyone follows correct protocols and understands their role. If we identify bed bugs early and act fast, they will not have time to populate and spread throughout the facility. Ensure everyone has been trained on bed bug identification and protocols. 
Make certain everyone is aware of the location of your bed bug logbook. Inspect all used mattresses, furniture, or equipment before it comes into the building. If you find a bed bug, refuse entrance of the item unless it's treated by a pest control professional. Focus especially on used mattresses, box springs, and beds. If you've received a new long-term tenant, inspect the room two weeks and four weeks after their arrival. If they have introduced bed bugs into your facility, this will allow you to identify the problem before it gets out of control. Have a random selection of rooms inspected each month by your ABLE technician. You'll be provided with an inspection report for each room. This increases the likelihood that an infestation will be caught in its infancy. Your technician will keep these in your bed bug logbook for documentation of your complete bed bug program. You may one day need to provide proof in court that you had a comprehensive bed bug program, so documentation of all your actions is critical. Box spring and mattress encasements prevent the spread of bed bugs. Since these are bed bug proof, any living bed bugs are sealed inside and eventually die. This dramatically reduces hiding areas for bed bugs and prevents the throwing away of expensive mattresses if an infestation is located. Bed bug prevention. Chapter Review Ensure everyone is trained in bed bug identification and response protocols. Maintain a bed bug logbook. Inspect all used furniture before it's brought into your business. Have a random selection of rooms professionally inspected each month. Chapter 4 Bed Bug Emergency Procedure Act immediately if bed bugs are found. Either notify your supervisor or contact ABLE Pest Control. In case of a bed bug infestation, act quickly. Locate your logbook for this infestation checklist. Remove tenants or guests from the room immediately. Close the door and do not allow entry until your technician has arrived. Do not remove bedding, linens, curtains, clothing, etc. until you've reviewed the laundry protocol. Removing these items may cause the bed bugs to spread. If a tenant's personal belongings are present, place clothing and luggage in a plastic bag, tie shut, and leave in the room if possible. This may protect them from infestation. Call immediately to reduce the chance of spreading. The ABLE bed bug response includes inspect the room and adjacent areas in rooms where bed bugs may have spread. This will include rooms above and below and adjacent rooms on the same floor. As bed bugs travel very well, these rooms are at risk. Install additional monitoring devices such as climb up interceptors or mechanical monitors. Inspect the luggage and belongings that were isolated and advise as to further treatment if needed. Bed bug emergency procedure. Chapter review. Take immediate action. Quarantine the room. Contact ABLE. Chapter 5. Infested Laundry Procedure You can imagine that an industrial laundry facility is an excellent way for bed bugs to travel throughout your building. Bed bugs are very tough. They can survive many laundry processes or travel around your building in laundry carts. Proper laundering is critical to eliminating bed bugs and preventing their spread. Prior to removing any laundry from an infested room, Tie it in a garbage bag, then place it in a second garbage bag and tie. This double-bagged approach will prevent the bed bugs from getting out. After you've put the laundry in the wash, dispose of the bags right away in an outside garbage container. Immediately do a personal inspection to ensure no bed bugs have landed on you. Special bags are available that you put right into the wash and they dissolve, reducing the risk of contamination. It is necessary that all garments be laundered in hot water greater than 60 degrees Celsius or 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Or place laundry into a dryer on the hottest setting greater than 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit for a minimum of 30 minutes. The dryer must be capable of reaching a temperature of greater than 40 degrees Celsius to kill all stages and not be loaded to more than 50% capacity. Laundered items must remain out of the treatment area during service. 
clothing, and fabrics associated with beds and sofas cannot be treated with pesticides due to the prolonged contact with skin. For this reason, this step is crucial and necessary to ensure the treatment program does not fail with the reintroduction of bed bugs from infested clothing. Infested Laundry Procedure Chapter Review Double Bag All Laundry Complete a Personal Inspection Wash and Dry Laundry at the Hottest Settings Chapter 6 Bed Bug Cleanout Procedure Eliminating bed bugs from an infested room is a great deal of work. Careful preparation is needed prior to a cleanout to ensure the able technician can access all the necessary areas. Where a cleanout is required, the technician will determine a day and time with you. Prior to that, your organization will need to have someone who is familiar with the process prepare the room for the cleanout. Your able bed bug binder has a cleanout checklist. Following this carefully will provide the most effective extermination process possible. You must remove electrical wall plates such as phone jacks and light switch covers. Remove television sets from the walls. Remove the front panel from the air conditioning unit. Double bag clothes and bed coverings. Launder properly and leave them out of the room afterwards. Vacuum the floor extensively and so on, following the instructions on the list. Bed Bug Cleanout Procedure Chapter Review Have an employee trained in bed bug cleanout preparation procedures. Follow the client preparation checklist. Chapter 7 Bed Bug Cleanout Follow Up Service Your able technician will return for a follow up service after the initial treatment. This is part of the service. During your second visit, your able technician will verify that the room is clear from adult bed bugs. Any further extermination services will be provided if required. Do not tamper with any of the devices left in place. This might include monitors, climb up plates, or mattress covers. Mattress and box spring encasements are available for purchase through your able service technician and should be installed during or soon after the initial service is completed by able. These will protect the mattresses and box springs from becoming reinfested and will prevent bed bugs from potentially reinfesting the area. Bed Bug Cleanout Follow Up Service Chapter Review Your able technician will return for a follow up service after the initial treatment. Don't tamper with devices left in place. Install mattress and box spring encasements. Chapter 8 Wrap Up the new reality is that we must protect ourselves, our customers, and tenants from bed bugs. Each of us must make certain we're trained and on the lookout for bed bugs every day. By preventing infestations and acting immediately when bed bugs are identified, we can protect our tenants and ourselves. Inspect incoming used items, especially mattresses and beds, prior to moving them in. Be on the lookout for signs or complaints of bed bugs. Have a random selection of rooms inspected each month by ABLE as part of your documented program. Keep your bed bug logbook on hand to verify you have a program. If bed bugs are found, quarantine the area and follow this procedure as outlined in your bed bug binder. This will include proper laundering and bed bug cleanout preparation. Thank you for listening. Let's all work together to keep your facility free of bed bugs.